Sunday, April 9. A Grace-Filled Book of Hope When most people think about the Bible's last book, Revelation, they do not think about God's grace. When they consider God's last day message, their thoughts often turn immediately to frightening beasts, mystic symbols and strange images. The book of Revelation scares as many people as it reassures, which is unfortunate because it is, indeed, saturated with grace and filled with hope. That is, even amid the scary beasts and warnings of persecution and the hard times ahead, God still gives us reasons to rejoice in His salvation. Read Revelation chapter 1 verses 1 to 3 and chapter 14 verse 6. How do these verses together tell us about not just the book of Revelation, but about the everlasting gospel as well? Revelation 1, beginning at verse 1, the revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave him to show his servants, things which must shortly take place. And he sent and signified it by his angel to his servant John, who bore witness to the word of God, and to the testimony of Jesus Christ, to all things that he saw. Blessed is he who reads, and those who hear the words of this prophecy, and keep those things which are written in it, for the time is near." And Revelation 14 and verse 6. Then I saw another angel flying in the midst of heaven, having the everlasting gospel to preach to those who dwell on the earth, to every nation, tribe, tongue, and people. Revelation is all about Jesus. It is his message to his people and is especially applicable to his church in the last days. It is the grace-filled message of our end-time hope. Throughout the book, Christ is described as the slain lamb, and a blessing is promised to those who read, understand, and act on the truths revealed. According to Revelation 1 verses 5 and 6, Jesus is the one who loved us and washed us from our sins in his own blood, and has made us kings and priests to his God and Father. In Christ we are forgiven. Grace pardons our past, empowers our present, and provides hope for our future. That is, in Christ we are delivered from sin's penalty and power, and one day soon we will be delivered from sin's presence. This is the message of the Bible's last book, Revelation. And... It also is an urgent message, first pictured as an angel flying swiftly in mid-heaven, having the everlasting gospel. The gospel? Salvation by faith in Christ? Christ's atoning death for us? The promise of eternal life, not because of what we can do, but because of what Christ has done for us? All this is at the beginning of the three angels' messages. Exactly. No wonder, then, that they are grace-filled messages full of hope and promise for us as broken and suffering beings. Though it's easy to focus on the beasts and warnings of the last days, as depicted in Revelation, how can we learn to balance all these out with what is undeniably the most important message of Revelation, Christ's self-sacrificing death in our behalf? This lesson was read by Dr. Percy Harold for Christian Services for the Blind. Sponsored by the Sabbath School Department and distributed through Hope Channel Australia, this podcast is also redistributed by Hope Channel Germany, Christian Record Services for the Blind. It is also available on SoundCloud and through multiple podcast distributors, including Apple iTunes. And you can listen and watch at the same time on YouTube. Remember... God is always faithful.